Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering Fifth Grade Math. Here we're going to learn how to write and interpret expressions. Now when you see the term or the word expression in math, it just means a mathematical statement. So just some numbers with addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and sometimes parentheses. And by reading the expression, which is going to be some, some uh, words, you will need to write down uh, what the mathematical statement is. And so we need to be able to write down these things and uh, be able to read a set of words, understand what it means, and write down the math. Now before we get to some problems, I'm going to show you a few quick keywords that will make your job easier. When you see something like the sum, like the sum of two numbers, it always means to add things together. So it's not the only time you need to add things together, but, but a lot of times they'll use the word sum, right? When you see the word difference, Okay, something like this. Difference. If you see difference, um, that means to subtract. Right? The difference between two things, the difference between two ages, the difference between two lengths, whatever. Let me switch colors here. If you see something like the product, like the product of two numbers, or when t uh, some number is three times another number, these numbers, these words mean multiply. So a lot of times you'll say, hey, the product of three and seven, or this car is three and a half times bigger than another car. Those mean multiplication. And then finally, the last one I'll share with you is if you see the word quotient, or you see the word divided, usually like divided by, of course these mean division. So these are not the only words that can trigger these things, but these are the most common ones. So be on the lookout for words like the sum of, or sometimes you'll see all together, like, you know, Jenny has five marbles and Jake has ten marbles. How many do they have all together? That can also mean addition. But usually you'll see the word sum. Or if you see the word difference, what is the difference between these two things? You're subtracting. If you're seeing product or times, it's multiplying. If you're seeing quotient or divided by, it's almost always division. So keep that in mind as we solve these problems that we're about to do here, because what we're going to do is I'm going to read you a statement, and you'll be able to read the statement yourself, and we need to figure out how to write it down in terms of math operations, write down the expression. So the first one is 8 times the amount of 2. It's a pretty simple statement, 8 times the amount of 2. Notice the word times in there tells us that when we're writing this down, 8 times the amount of 2, the way that we do that is 8 times 2. Not a huge surprise that it would be just 8 times 2, since that's what we read. Okay. The next one would be the difference between 10 and 3. The difference between 10 and 3. So if we're going to write that, the word difference should trigger in your mind subtraction. So the difference between 10 and 3 is going to be written 10 minus 3. You would not want to write it as 3 minus 10, because that's not really possible. You can't really do 3 minus 10. You don't, you don't have enough to subtract, so it needs to be 10 minus 3. Now another way you might see uh, subtraction is, for instance, the next one, 18 decreased by 6. You think about it, the idea of decreasing something means to subtract. So if we have 18 decreased by 6, 18 decreased by 6 would be 18 minus 6. So, so far all of these have, are just single operations. All right, but what if we had something like 7 increased by 17? So if you're decreasing, you're taking something away. If you're increasing, then you're adding something. 